Hello and welcome to this course on programming the ARCH 64-bit CPUs from scratch. So these are the ARM A-class CPUs with 64-bit capabilities. And uh, a good candidate for that is the Raspberry Pi 4B. So the 4B board has an SOC, the Broadcom SOC. Oh, okay. Uh, it has the Broadcom SOC on it that uh, implements or that has um, ARM A-class CPU cores on it. And so what we are going to do is we are going to program this board uh, from the scratch. From the scratch meaning we'll write the assembly uh, code, we'll write the C code, and we'll try to output hello world on the UART again from our bare metal code. We'll try to get as close to the hardware programming as possible or as allowed by the Broadcom folks. Uh, we will be at the level where there is no operating system there is no bootloader so to speak again there are the you know when we talk about like the boot sequence of how the board comes up uh, we'll notice that there are few broadcom uh, firmware components that we cannot eliminate but um, getting control of the a class cpu from the very beginning well that can be done so we are going to aim for that print out a hello world using you know just the bare metal code and um, well raspberry pi 4b is our vehicle of choice then just because it's easily available very you know affordable i don't know but um, very easy to procure and there's a lot of documentation around this online and so what this course will help you with is once you know how to boot up a cpu from scratch particularly the a class 64-bit cpus uh, not only will you be comfortable reasoning and predicting as to how operating systems boot up, but you'll also be able to predict what are the prerequisites for an operating system. Does it require an MMU? Why does it require an MMU? What happens? You know, what are, uh, how is cache is controlled? Things of those nature. So again, then, you know, this board will discuss a lot more about this. And our goal is to, uh, well, there is an SD card here. So our goal is to load up our firmware, uh, first of write a firmware, uh, reason about this SOC from the scratch, and then print hello world. And hopefully, you know, as we go towards doing all of it, you learn everything, all those subtle details that you need to master operating systems and reason about um, uh, CPUs. Now, before we conclude like this introductory uh, lecture, what I want to do is call out where are the um, AR64 uh, bit architecture, you know, the CPUs for that, where all are they used? Well, the Mac uh, M line of uh, SOCs use the 64-bit ARM architecture. Uh, pretty much 99% of the phones on the planet are driven by ARM chips that support uh, or that are based on, the processors are based on 64-bit architecture. Um, you know, several of the high performing uh, routers use this gateways use this then uh, in the recent times the, um, a lot of the uh, new cars are getting their infotainment system which have the arm um, a64 bit uh, cpus on them and so any complex system that requires like running a heavyweight operating system that can run generic applications uh, things like whatsapp telegram chrome or something of that nature well, we are talking about potentially an ARM 64-bit CPU there. And so being able to program these and you know, bring these up from scratch is a huge, huge, huge advantage when it comes to doing embedded systems engineering, specifically systems software engineering. All right, so if all of this excites you, uh, I'm going to see you in the next one, wherein we kind of jump into the details of the Raspberry Pi first, and then from there, we make a plan as to how we can program this from scratch. All right, so I'll see you in the next one.